test and try all these strategies that I've spoken about today, the more that you do it over and over again and get into a series of wash, rinse, and repeat, the easier it is for your sales to just continue to grow over and over and over again. Welcome to Thrive by Design, the podcast for ambitious, independent jewelry brands looking to profit from their products. Get ready to make more and sell more doing what you love without spending every single waking minute doing it. Hey, and if you're a creative fashion or product-based business, I wanna welcome you to the show. I'll be dropping big tips on launching, growing, and scaling your business so you can spend more of your precious time using your creativity to make money. You ready? All right, let's do this. Welcome to the Thrive by Design podcast. Hey there, it's Tracy Matthews, Chief Visionary Officer of Flourish and Thrive Academy. And I was just like typing my notes and planning my outline for the show and doing all the things, all the stuff. And I realized, oh my gosh, we have like 470 episodes plus on this podcast. It's pretty insane. We're nearing 500 episodes over the past, I don't know, I think I started this podcast in 2015. Where does the time go? And when I was, I was at dinner with some friends the other night, my new friends in Scottsdale, Arizona, and they're like, oh, you have a podcast? And I was like, yeah. And they're like, how many episodes? And I'm like, 470. They're like, oh my gosh. Like, it's a lot. I get it. And it's exciting. And so I'm going to celebrate that we have 470 episodes under the belt. And if you have other friends who enjoy listening to podcasts and actually want help growing their business and their jewelry or product business owners or fashion brands, definitely send them our way. We would love to grace their earbuds. Anyway, it's just fun to like look at that stat this morning. Now I wanted to come in here today to talk about how to double your online sales or better to say the fastest way to double your online sales. And the reason why this is important is because all y'all's doing in-person shows or selling wholesale or, you know, however you're selling your jewelry, there's so much money being left on the table. Like I hate to just say it that blatantly, but if you want to generate more revenue, you can easily do this with the right strategies. And while I don't have time to go into detail on how to do all the things that I'm going to talk about today, if you're someone who is serious about doing this quickly, like in a very short window, like let's say three months, 90 days, then I'm here to help you do that because we have a program that is going live. We actually decided to retire the program last year and we got so many messages of people saying, when are you bringing back train your customers to buy from you online? And I'm like, it's retired. And they're like, really? So many messages. So we decided to bring it back. We're gonna do one more season of it and here we go. So the Train Your Customers to Buy From You Online program is our 12-week sales accelerator that helps you leverage all of your sales channels and build your revenue by pulling on and pulling in different aspects of how you're selling. So if you sell in person, we teach you how to leverage that and get more traffic to your website, optimize your marketing funnel, and double your website sales with simple strategies that always work. It's really perfect for people who have sales from in-person shows, they're selling wholesale, maybe they sell on Etsy, or they're doing other sales channels, and just want a more leveraged way to spend fewer weekends relying on foot traffic or selling at shows to make their money. And I know that shows are great, but one of the things I hear all the time is I'm getting burned out from all the shows or I'm tired of spending every single weekend doing a show instead of being with my family. And I know it's fun in the beginning, but like literally you don't need to do every single weekend doing a show if you know how to leverage it. And I was actually right before I recorded this podcast, I was speaking with a designer who I'm going to remain nameless because she's saying she's graduating from our Lane to Foundation program. And she said to me, you know, I'm having one of the best months ever. You know, this year has really kicked off really great. You know, I'm doing like $8,500 this month in sales from all these shows. And she's like, I could kick myself because I wasn't collecting email addresses or following up with people after the show. And she's got it right because she wasn't doing that because she didn't have her website dialed in and have a plan on how to drive traffic to her website after the show. So one of the things that we teach you is some simple strategies, not only to build your email list, but to follow up after a show to make 20 to 30 to 40% more revenue of post-show income just by 
being of service to your customers. And we're going to teach you exactly how to do that. So if you want to learn more about the TYC, head on over to flourishthriveacademy.com forward slash TYC. Get your application in soon because we are closing enrollment for this and getting started on April 30th. And this is kind of like a last call, last ditch effort to get applications in. Head on over to floristriveacademy.com forward slash TYC and join an amazing, incredible group of high achieving jewelry business owners who are up to big things, growing their business online and off. So today is all about doubling your online sales. So you probably heard it before and you might be wondering like, how do, can someone really double their sales? And the answer is yes. And I know that to be true because I've done it before. And this is not just people who are, like, are doubling their sales from 5,000 to 10,000 in one year. And even though that is a significant reach, I'm talking about people who have $50,000 in sales and want to double to 100,000 in a year, or people who have $150,000 in sales who want to double to $300,000 in a year. It is possible and probable if you are taking the right actions. The problem is, is that most people don't take the right actions because number one, they aren't thinking about all the different ways and the low hanging fruit that's sitting right in front of them. Number two, they're not marketing to their audience enough. And number three, they are being shy when it comes to sales. I guess that's the best way to put it. Meaning they're like, I don't want to bug people. I don't want to reach out to people and give them something that they want because I feel weird about it. And so if you can get over that and you're focused on being of service, then guess what? You can have an excellent and amazing result with some of the strategies that I'm going to teach you today. And strategies that are tried and true, that always work. In fact, you've probably heard me talk about my girl, Alex Camacho, on this show before. Uh, we mentored her for many, many years over here at Flourish and Thrive Academy. And over the trajectory of a period of like four or five years, she went from doing $65,000 in revenue to her top year of doing like over $40,000 a month. So it can happen, but it just requires you to be taking the right action. And if you're only relying on social media for online sales, well, you're going to get yourself in trouble. And while social media is a great platform, also Etsy's a great platform, like all these platforms are great platforms, but they have algorithms and they're always changing and you don't own the customer contact information on those platforms. So your followers are not like really your subscribers, right? This is all about creating more leverage for your business. And I want to teach you how to do that. So let's dive in to how to make more sales or double your sales online in half the time. What this really comes down to is a simple philosophy and a question that you should ask to yourself. How can I increase my average order value or how can I increase my return customer rate? So a couple of weeks ago, I did a podcast with Chelsea Farmer. It is episode 467, so definitely check that out. And she was talking about how to increase brand loyalty, but also how to get people coming back to buy from you again. And part of that is delivering a great experience, which is awesome. But the other part of it is there's a lot of different things that you can do to actually get people coming back. Her strategy is a little bit different than some of the things I'm going to teach about today, but they all build on one another. So if you have a website and you are selling online using a store like Shopify, which we highly recommend, then one of the best ways to increase your average order value using technology is to have a suggestive selling app. So have you ever been on a website where it says you might also like, or this item goes with this? This is a really powerful strategy to increase your average order value. Because when someone's shopping on your site, they might only see like one piece, but if your catalog is not designed in a way that you automatically know that there's earrings that go with the necklace or whatever it is, then they might only take one piece, right? But if you use these suggestive selling apps and have them in your Shopify store, then it basically shows other items that are available for purchase. Now, Bold app has some a lot of different types of suggestive selling apps or things where you can bundle items together, which is part of my next thing. Another thing is that you can have a promotion where you're selling bundles of pieces together. And this group grouping items together can be really powerful because not only are you selling like two best selling items together, but you can offer this at a special bundle price. I don't like to call it a discount, 
but you can offer it at a, as a better price than people just buying it individually separately. Now there's a website called Bandier that does this really well. When they get new product in, they actually sell like workout outfits and kits. So it's like you can buy the bra, you can buy the pants separately, but if you buy the kit, then you get like 10% off by buying it in a bundle and you can select your size and stuff like that. So there's a great opportunity for you to do that with your website. Now, one of my favorite ways to grow your online sales and double your sales in general is using in-person interactions to have a follow-up. So you can do this with any type of business. But for instance, people doing in-person shows, one of the best strategies to grow your sales post-show is to have a follow-up strategy with the customers who are at the show. Now this follow-up strategy could be automated, but I highly recommend that you think outside of the box and potentially even do your follow-up strategy manual where you're individually reaching out to people or texting them and saying, hey there, you know, thank you so much for shopping at the show. I would love to um, share with you some of the new pieces or the pieces available on my website. Or you can suggest to sell an item that actually matches the piece that they purchased. You can also offer them an incentive to go shop on your website after the show. And you can use it with a trackable gift card or something along those lines. So that post-show follow-up, thinking about different strategies to help make more sales after a show is going to be one of the things that is super powerful. And when you can systematize it and you have a, you know, easy way for people to sign up for your email list, it can be really impactful. In fact, last week I did a, or a couple weeks ago, actually I did a, an encore presentation of a podcast with Alex Boxel, and she is the owner of Alex Kathleen Jewelry. And she followed these strategies and sold over 150 units at a show and built her email list by 200 new subscribers, then had a follow-up automation that sent emails out to all the people who bought at her show or joined her email list that got her a wave of new orders and sales after that show was over. And so that's an incredible result, you guys. In fact, I posted a case study about this on our feed and she commented on that case study and she said, well, I just did another show and got another 100 email subscribers. The strategy really works. The exact step-by-step -step strategy that we teach in our Train Your Customers to Buy From You Online program, which is really, really important. So. Suggestive selling can be really, really powerful by either using apps, by doing a manual follow-up where you're, you're reaching out to people after the show, by suggestive selling when you're in person, that is a really important thing too. Get comfortable with showing people other items that look good with the items that they already have. And then and one of my other favorite things is to do suggestive selling for even online orders. So let's say people are, are shopping from you on your Instagram or on your website. How are you following up with them to say, hey, there's another item that you might like, or hey, buy again, and here, here's a special offer to get you know, a $25 gift card towards your next purchase? Or are you reaching out to them manually and just saying, thank you so much for your order. I appreciate you supporting my small business. Waiting for their response and then following up with a suggestive strategy to offer them to buy something else. This process works so well when it's done right and from a place of intention and mindfulness that I've I've heard of students of ours in fact I got a DM from someone last year when I when I taught this strategy and she's like oh my gosh it really does work I went and I DM'd a bunch of people or or texted a bunch of people actually who bought from me over the past few months and thank them for my order and then suggestive sell, sold another item. And within like 48 hours, this person had made $2,468. It really does work if you are willing to do it. The problem is, is that most people feel so uncomfortable doing it because they feel like they're bugging someone. But if you truly do this from a place of service saying, thank you so much for supporting my small business, and that's the energy that you're bringing to it, people will want to support you. And if you get a 20% people uptaking on the next, the next offer, like you're in a great spot. That's amazing. So think about how you can suggest a sell after someone buys from you at a show or on an online order. 
Now we're talking mostly about doubling your sales online here, but like think about this too. If you sell to retail stores or wholesale, like how often are you following up with them for reorders? Checking in on your order. This is a similar strategy. This strategy can work for across the board for any type of sale that you've already had. Follow up with them in a timely manner, check in with them, see how they're enjoying the order, check in on the sell through, thank them for supporting your small business, ask for a reorder, see if you can get some fill-ins. And wholesale is a little bit different because it really depends on like what's selling through and how their business is going and, and if that's working. And it, if you don't do that, you're gonna be leaving money on the table as well. So follow up with your wholesale accounts. Now, the next thing that I highly recommend is that you have automation in place that follows up after an order is placed. Now, I'm not talking about like your order is shipped from Shopify. What I'm talking about is an automated sequence that sends out like three to six emails that gets people to take the next action. So the way that this works is if you do it the right way, you potentially get a review, a testimonial, people tagging you on social media, and ultimately, more sales and revenue if you do this in the right way and if you follow the sequence in the right order so one of the things that i really like to recommend when we're teaching this in programs like our train your customers to buy from you online program is that think about like the customer journey okay so they buy something that you send a follow-up email saying that the order shipped what would come next hey just checking in how how are you liking your order big brands don't even do this and it's it's mind-blowing to me Hey, would you mind sending a review about the order or the product that you just purchased? You know, that's the next step. You would say it obviously in a different way, but get them to review your product and see how they're enjoying it. The next step would be to ask them to shout you out or post a picture on social media. We'd love to see how our customers are wearing our products. We'd love to feature you on our feed. Some people love that, other people don't. Depends on the type of customer that you have, but it can significantly work. And then offer them an incentive to go and buy from you again. So whether that's a gift card or you know free shipping or a special gift with purchase because they're a loyal customer, there's a lot of different things that you could do to get them coming back for a second time. So think through that post follow-up sale and think through how that could work. Now, if you're selling online, one of the most important things to do is to be able to capture people who abandon their cart. You can sometimes see, especially if you have integrations using platforms like Klaviyo, where you can send an automated abandoned cart email sequence, where you send out an SMS or an email or both saying, look, you were shopping on our site and it looks like you didn't complete checkout. Make sure that you go back and grab these items as they're selling out quickly. That abandoned cart sometimes can have an uptick of 44% and they really work great when they're done right. So don't forget to have an abandoned cart sequence on your site, like that's super important. And another automated sequence that I think most people don't even know about is a win back campaign. This is where you incentivize people who've been on your list for a while, who have purchased before, but for some reason haven't come back to buy from you again. So after a certain period of time, your goal is to get those people to get back on shopping on your website, and shopping from you again. And so this is your opportunity once again to open up a conversation. You can obviously do this automated, but another thing to think about depending on the type of brand that you have is doing manual outreach too. So if you have a high ticket brand or you're doing, selling fine jewelry, ongoing sales and relationship building is really important. Reach out to people who haven't bought from you in a year or two years. Is it their anniversary or something else where you can open up a conversation and check in on them to see how things are going? If you have a custom or a fine jewelry business, reach out to customers one or two years after they've purchased, offer free jewelry maintenance. You know, prongs loosen, sometimes stones get loose, and this is a great opportunity for you to get people back into your world to be able to sell them again. And it works like gangbusters. So most of the strategies that I've spoken about so far are how to follow up after you've met someone and had a sale with them. And they're pretty active sales strategies, even if they're automated. Now, there's another strategy that does work really well. And the reason why it can explode and double your sales so quickly is because of the community that you build around it. Now, some of you might be going live on Instagram and doing live selling, but if you aren't 
getting sales and actually people taking the next step from your live selling efforts, you might be also leaving money on the table. Now, one of our students, Carla Garrow, took our TYC program several years ago, and she was just starting to transition into online sales. She already had a multiple six-figure business, but on the lower range of the multiple six figures. I interviewed her last March, episode 396, where she talked about how live selling completely transformed her business. It was so funny. I had her come in and talk about working with her number two, Sam, but I also had her come in and talk about this live selling thing a few months apart. So she's been on the podcast twice in one year, which was super fun. But she said that the live selling strategy that we taught in the TYC program was one of the things that was responsible from helping her grow her business from the low six figure marker to the high six figure marker over the course of just a couple of years. And the reason being is that she got consistently out there and was creating community around her brand and with her customers. Because the more that she showed her face, even though it was uncomfortable, and the more she got consistent with the strategy and dialed in how she was doing the live selling and selling the products and delivering that to the world, the easier, number one, it came for her to have the confidence to like be out there, but the faster her products would sell out. And I was just texting with her recently because I saw, it's funny how like, I feel like Instagram has a chip in your brain. Cause I was thinking to myself, oh, I wonder how Carla's doing. And then I, all of a sudden, one of their live selling events popped up on my feed and her and Sam had had a live selling trunk show to celebrate Sam's birthday. She said that they had one of the best live trunk show events that they've ever had and it completely blew their mind. And so I mentioned this because everything that you do that compounds on the next thing. So if you test and try all these strategies that I've spoken about today, I'll recap some of them in a minute. The more that you do it over and over again and get into a series of wash, rinse, and repeat, the easier it is for your sales to just continue to grow over and over and over again. So it's like you're doubling your sales in no time and it becomes this snowball effect where every single year or every single month, your sales just continue to grow. So there you have it. Let me recap some of these strategies for you real quickly. Now, the idea behind this episode and the energy that we're bringing forward is how do you increase your average order value and increase your return customer rate and ultimately increase and improve your customer lifetime value? So the first tactic and strategy is suggestive selling. Now, suggestive selling can happen in a lot of different ways. It can happen with apps on your website and Bold has some really great apps where you can use them for bundling products and suggestive selling which is my next tip was bundling different items together. So having promotions where you're selling two bestsellers together for a limited time at a special bestseller price. And that, you know, it bumps up your order value without even thinking about it because you're selling two items instead of one. Suggestive selling post-show follow-up. So this is where you have an opportunity not only to suggestive sell when someone is standing right in front of you, but checking in with your customer after a show is over, after an event is over, and saying like, hey, hey, I have these pieces that go with all the pieces that you purchase at the show. And this just requires you to take some great notes and have a strategy for that. We teach you the full strategy for doing this that works super well for our customers in the TYC program. You can also suggestive sell to online order purchasers. So if you have people on your website who are purchasing products, you can send out an automated sequence that will follow up, but you can also send out a manual sequence. And it's surprising to most people that you would even do that. And it has a really high tick and return rate. Also, I mentioned suggestive selling and getting reorders from wholesale buyers. This is not an online strategy, but you can use online methods to do this. I think it's a missed opportunity for a lot of people who don't follow up with their wholesale accounts get into a habit of following up and getting more orders in the door. One of the other automated sequences I spoke about is your abandoned cart sequence. Make sure that you get that set up so that it's selling on autopilot and incorporate community building and live selling into your business model because you'll see a huge uptick. All right, thank you so much for listening to the show today. This is Tracy Matthews signing off until next time. I certainly hope that you will join us for our Train Your Customers to Buy From You online program. We are so excited. We're getting started on April 30th, and we would love to invite you into this game-changing program that will help you increase your sales, create more leverage in your life, 
and allow you to get some of your weekends back, especially for those of you who are doing all those in-person shows. I'm gonna wrap this up and share a few clips from different jewelry business owners who have taken this TYC program and you know, hear it from them. All right, ciao for now. Since joining TYC, I was able to offload over 150 pieces in one of the promotions that we learned about. I also attended a trade show where my sales were up 191% from previous years. And that was a lot to do with the things that I learned. And I also added 200 email and SMS subscribers to my list. Working with Flourish and Thrive and doing TYC has helped me grow my online sales because I've been able to implement strategies and systems with my email marketing and my content strategies. So I'm now having a better flow of how to get people to my website, how to encourage them to shop online. And it's been really great. The things that I feel like I've been able to accomplish since joining TYC are basically a higher level of professionalism, uh, accountability, and organization. Since taking the Flourish and Thrive courses, my business has grown tenfold. In the first three months of 2023, I had already made what I made in the entire year of 2022 in online sales. And that wasn't including wholesale or direct sales. That was just my online sales. So I could see very quickly that I was in, on track to at least triple what I'd made the year before. And I mean, that's just really exciting. Since TYC, business has grown exponentially. So ended up booking a show and this show absolutely floored us. It was like made it moment, if that makes sense. Three day show, sold out within the first two hours, had to quickly scramble to figure out how to make the most of the show, made sure the product wasn't let go until the end of the show. So we still had all the product on the stand and then navigated getting pre-orders and so many pre-orders that they're over a year in advance.